The athlete who defected from Cameroon during the Commonwealth Games in Melbourne and is now competing for gold in Australia. But right now, time for the Hollywood Minute with Richard Reid. Time starts now. Ah, oh, well, thank you, gorgeous girl. Here in the heart of Hollywood, Paris Hilton's turf, and she can rest easy. The man, Nathan Prada, who broke into her home the other day, or at least tried to, he has been officially charged with attempted burglary. If he's found guilty, he could face six years in the slammer. Whoo! That's hot, I am telling you. Hey, well, Emma Watson, you know little Hermione from the Harry Potter movies, all of 20, and she says, yeah, I'm ready to retire. That's right. She's done with those Harry Potter films, and she says she needs a break. She just needs to find herself. She says, I just need to find out who Emma Watson is after all this. I'm not Hermione, you know. Okay, and Octomom. That's right. She wants to be on Dancing with the Stars. Can you believe that? She says she's been getting in fighting shape, and she knows how to dance. Wouldn't she look good with David Hasselhoff? Octomom. Mom. Coming up, we got news on Miley. That breakup is shocking. Yeah, the Hoff and Octomum. Wow, what a combination. <laughs> well, four years ago, Daniel Coombe defected from Cameroon during the Melbourne Commonwealth Games. He became an asylum seeker in Australia. Now, he's one of our best chances for weightlifting gold at the Delhi Games. It has been a remarkable journey for the 25-year-old. Today's Christina Hearn went along to meet him. Bit of a height difference between you and me, Daniel. <laughs> he might be small in stature, but Daniel Coombe has a bigger heart than most. Inside this gym, in an industrial part of Geelong, the 25-year-old is powering towards his New Delhi dream. I'm, I'm Australian now, so I'm sort of giving 100% and I'm, do, I'm hoping to do my best in the game. Not, not, not that, that don't kill me. Four years ago, though, it was a very different story. Daniel hit the headlines along with several other athletes when he went missing shortly after the Melbourne Commonwealth Games. Did you worry at the time? I was worried because uh, you're in this situation, you don't really know what's going to happen and you, you sort of stress a lot. Daniel, along with eight others from Cameroon, including training partner Francois Otundi, were declared asylum seekers. After two years of uncertainty, Daniel was granted residency and a chance at a new life competing under a new flag. Oh. He used to be trained by his father in Cameroon at a gym where there was one bar between 20 weightlifters. He hasn't seen his family since he left in 2006, but will travel back home after the Delhi Games, hopefully showing off a golden souvenir. They're all waiting to see me and I'm very exciting. As long as I think I swear to die, you know, I think he's got a, he's got a really good chance. And... We both decided to be, to win goals for Australia. And we're working pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot to shoulder over the past four years and financially he needs a sponsor. But Daniel hopes if he can do well in Delhi, a weight will be lifted. I'll do my best. I can't promise anything, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll do my best. Your ultimate goal, though, a gold medal? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll, I'll try. Oh, good luck to him. Let's hope he does well. Yeah. Well, in our next half hour, we meet a brave 10-year-old boy who's suffering from a severe kidney disease and he's writing books to help others through tough times. Yes, a wonderful story. This Georgie's got the news next, including the latest on Shelley Craft's baby bump. Whoa, what happened? You're watching today on the Nine Network. It is for free right across this great country. The Guru's Guide to Making the Most of Your Money. It can be done. On A Current Affair, Paul Clitheroe and Deffy Zahos show you how to get your family.